Hey guys, Thunder E here, and welcome to my 30 day review of the Galaxy S9 Plus, Samsung's latest and uh, Samsung's most lilac phone. I love this color though. Seriously, Samsung, this should be on all your promotional material. Lilac is a great color on the phone, but there are a lot of things to talk about. So if this video is a little lengthy, guys, I apologize, but I wanted to cover a lot of bases because I've used this phone for quite a bit of time. And some of you might be on the fence thinking you want to pick it up. Some of you might I already have it. Some of you might be looking for certain things specifically about the Galaxy S9 Plus, so I'll try and answer them for you. So as I said, 30 days, been using this device. Uh, this has been one of my main devices. I always carry two devices, just so you know. I've been using this and the Galaxy Note 8, and that contrast really shows. Uh, in terms of one of the very first features that uh, like I, I rely on is battery life. Um, I do a lot of stuff on my phone and using this device, I have to say that I've been impressed. It's got a 3500 milliamp battery. It's also powered by the Qualcomm Snapdragon 845 processor. And in conjunction with both what Qualcomm has done, what Samsung has done uh, software wise and the 3500 milliamp battery, I get some really impressive battery life compared to my Galaxy Note 8. Um, I'm getting, and I mentioned this initially, I'm getting, um, you know, I'm actually looking at it here and it's 66% and I'm at about 26 hours of battery life. I would not even smell anything close like that on my Galaxy Note 8. But with my Galaxy S9 Plus, I do have that. So I'm very happy to see that in there. I'm happy to see that the 845 processor is working pretty well in terms of battery performance. So that's something that's great. Now, uh, as I said, I use this device daily and a lot of things that I do, of course, is taking photos. You guys see it on Instagram and Samsung has a new camera setup. It's got a dual aperture. Uh, two apertures, one f-stop of 1.5 and 2.4. The whole idea is that low light photography should look better. And it does. I think it has the best low light photos. Yes, I do admit they are a little softer than others, but especially in extreme low light conditions, it really takes awesome low light photos. I, I absolutely love what I get from that there. Now, I will say though that I would love to see Samsung work with Qualcomm to do the same thing Google did with the vector units, the DSPs, uh, the Exxon DSP, I think that's what it's called, uh, to get better uh, computational analysis of images. Because granted, this camera is really good and it takes some very good photos. Uh, where it doesn't excel well is live focus. Live focus this year has just not been that great for me. Uh, it's been very fuzzy at times. It's hard to take proper live focus photos. And that's a software thing more than the, the camera itself. And also the front face camera has not been that great. It's solid, but when I'm taking live focus, uh, focus photos, not good. And we know what the Pixel has done. So Samsung, go work with Qualcomm. Let's get that done. Let's do use, you know, the DSPs there. The, basically it's the NPU, if you want to call it that. So we can get better pho photographs, especially improving what you've already done with this. I think this is one of the best low light photos, but it can be better. It can definitely be better. Now the camera app is nice. Uh, that's somewhere at one point that I do want to mention that uh, it's got some really great features there. You know, I do not use the AR emojis anymore. Uh, I do like the pro mode quite a bit. My buddy, uh, Marion Sells, who is professional photographer at Hawaii, I did a video with talking about using a Galaxy S9 Plus as a professional camera, uh, said the same thing, and but he took some awesome photos though. Definitely go check them out. I've got it up there in the cards. He said something really interesting. He talked about how using the, the camera app, swiping left and right, sometimes he's swiping selfies. Same things happens to me. I don't like that, so Samsung, please fix it. I do like Bigsby, Bigsby Vision though. I think it works out pretty well. Um, I was able to use Bigsby, Bigsby Vision in a lot of ways, uh, especially with translations, also using it with dieting. It's not super accurate, but it's close enough, so I do like it anyway. Um, I also like the makeup feature. I don't use makeup, but I think, again, it is really solid to have that feature built in there. Now, the uh, other thing about this device I really like is are the speakers. Audio, actually don't forget speakers, it's audio in general, because you've got a couple of things here. The, uh, these are stereo speakers, got Dolby Atmos built in. They sound really good. They are crisp and clear. That's the main thing about it. They're very loud, but they're also really clear at the same time. And Dolby Atmos really adds a lot of that atmosphere to it. So if you don't believe me, check out my, my, um, my speaker test and also check out my speaker battle between the iPhone 10 and the Pixel 2 XL. All in the cards, you'd be quite impressed to see what we have here. Speaking of audio, 
headphone jack, guys. Yeah, it has a headphone jack, which is great. I mean, it means I can plug in my headphones and listen to music. I'm glad Samsung put this here. This is a this is a bonus point because you know everyone's taking it out and giving me dumb excuses why they've taken it out. So I'm glad Samsung didn't give a dumb excuse. Put it there. Now Samsung just add a better DAC. Uh, you've improved the DAC, but just give me a quad DAC. It'll be great. I'm just begging you for that. Uh, you've also got Bluetooth 5.0 and you've got Aptex HD from Qualcomm. So you've covered the whole range from solid wireless audio all the way down to plugging it in. I think that is really, really good. Now, as a device, this is a sexy device. It's got the best display on the market. Beautiful OLED display, vibrant, sharp. Watching content it is really good. Uh, you've got that all glass finish, which can be a fingerprint print magnet if you have the black version. It feels really comfortable in the hands to hold. Now, the one part that doesn't work well for me is actually using the fingerprint sensor here. Uh, you can see my finger goes to the second camera and not where the fingerprint sensor location is. Everyone has welcomed this. I do welcome it too, um, even though it was kind of easier for me to go left with the Galaxy Note 8 and the S8 Plus. What I do use a lot though is an intelligence scan. I really use it on a daily basis. It's much easier for me to look at my device and unlock my device, either with my iris or my facial recognition. And it works out pretty well for me. Fast, it's snappy, it's easy to just jump in and do that. Like just pretty much look. So I like that with the intelligence scan. And for me, that's more my day-to-day -day usage. Um, also gaming, gaming, yes. This device, powered by the Qualcomm 845 processor, and also you've got more RAM with six gigs of RAM on here. Uh, this thing performs so well gaming. Um, Qualcomm talked about its, you know, 20, 30% performance boost. You can really feel it while using it. And guys, you who, people who own the S9 Plus, let me know what you guys feel about gaming with this device because I've had a great experience. Uh, it doesn't run hot uh, in terms of the processor running really warm. The cooling is really nice on that. Also the performance and games just run really smooth, especially something like PUBG, which just came out, which I expected to have issues. Not that it, just optimization stuff, but I ran well. It ran really, really well on this device. I think for me as a device, or a day-to-day -day device, this has been really solid. Um, it's a little slippery. <laughs> I'm just wanting to throw it out there. So I started using, uh, of course, cases. And Samsung has some really good cases though. Um, they've got this like mesh case. They've got an Alcantara case as well. They've got the flip cover case. I don't use the flip cover that much, but I do like that the color matches the lilac. So they have all those colors there. That like mesh case is really soft and comfortable, but Alcantara is my thing though. So um, again, you know, those are the kind of things that I've done with the device and used. I think day to day, it's a really good device to use um, because battery performance for me has been really solid. Um, the edge screen, which a lot, people, a lot of people have talked about, really is functional. I can add more things to that edge screen. It looks more practical to me in terms of like day to day use, looking at my battery, um, you know, going to power save quickly by swiping. All those different functionalities added in there is pretty cool. The edge lighting is funky and nice. So that's added. You've got wireless charging, fast charging. You've got uh, IPS67. Those features are standard now with Samsung devices, but I do like the array of things you can do with it, but I like, I like what Samsung does with convenience. So every year they add new features and the next year they make it standard and like unnecessary for you to mention anymore. Uh, something like Samsung Pay, you know, it's been out for a while. I, I can't live without it. I left my wallet at home a couple of days ago heading to the gym and I was able to basically buy my pass or, or jump into an Uber or basically pay for anything using my phone because I have Samsung Pay and it works everywhere. So uh, you know what? To me, this has been a solid device. I absolutely love what they've done, especially for an all-rounder phone. You know, Mr. Juan Bagnell, my buddy, says the S9 is really the all-rounder phone and, or the S line. And the S9 Plus has done a really good job of being that phone that covers everything you can think of and does it well. And that's what I call the S9 Plus in my 30-day review. So there you have it, guys. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Also, check out all our other videos on the S9 Plus. We'll have a playlist for you. There are tons of stuff we've covered. There are a lot of hidden features in this device that I can't cover in this video, but you can definitely check them out. And there are a lot of cool things that you can do. And check out our camera samples. Please do. Please do. Check out the ones I've done and also my friend Marianne Sells, who's a professional photographer, and see what you can do with your Galaxy S9 Plus. So 
there you have it guys, thank you very much. If you have any questions or any comments, let me know. Don't forget to like and share, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification icon to get notified with our latest videos and always enjoy your entertainment.